Eflin Self-Checkout is an all-in-one solution for running your Shopify store on self-checkout kiosks in physical retail stores. With just a few simple clicks, as we're going to demonstrate for you here today, you can connect your Shopify account and run a fully ready-to-use self-checkout system. So without further ado, let's get started here. First thing you're going to need to do is install the app on your Shopify store. So you can find the app by just looking up Eflin Self-Checkout in the Shopify App Store. It's going to be on a page that looks like this. And all you have to do is just click Install. That's going to take us to the Install page on your Shopify account where you could just review what's happening and click the Install button. Now you will need an Eflin account uh, which is separate from your Shopify account in order to connect your store and manage your kiosks. So you can either log in with an Eflin account that you already have if you already have one or you can click the sign up button as we'll do right now and we'll actually try and do a full sign up so you can see what that's like. The account is completely free to create so you just have to supply an email address and a password or if you already have a Google account or a Microsoft account or if you're using GitHub for example you can authenticate with any of those providers as well. So once we sign in here uh, we're just going to create a quick account. We're going to be back on this page and now we can see that our Eflin Dev Store uh, has been connected to our account. But before we continue we do have one more step because this is a completely new user. You'll actually have to create a kiosk workspace uh, very similar to how you have your uh, Shopify store where you have an admin portal where you can log in and make changes to your products, collections, things like that. And you can have multiple staff members have access to that. We have a similar portal where you can log in and control various settings related to your kiosks. And you can have multiple users on that as well. Now that your Shopify store is connected and we've installed the app, it's now time to actually run your self-checkout for your Shopify store on a kiosk. If you have a physical Eflin kiosk, now would be the time to connect it. For the purposes of this demo, we're instead going to be setting up a kiosk manually. So we can just click Add Manually. And the next thing it's going to ask us is what we want to run on that kiosk. The Eflin kiosk platform supports multiple apps and features. It's really designed to serve multi-purpose kiosks that can do a lot of things. But obviously, for the purposes of this demo and for your initial rollout, you'll definitely just want to run the Eflin uh, self-checkout for Shopify application. And later on in this demo, we'll go through some of the other apps that are available when you want to expand your horizons and add layer in more features onto the kiosk and new content and things like that. And that's it. Our kiosk is ready and you can see we are now on our kiosk preview page which actually features a complete kiosk simulator that you can go through for testing purposes. Let's walk through a quick demo of the app that was set up in the last couple of steps that we did together. So I'm on the kiosk page and as I mentioned we have our simulator or preview window open on the right side and it's fully interactive and we can actually click through collections to pull up products on the right side we can browse through products. The app supports infinite scrolling. We can always click on a product to get details about it, as well as see images and pricing. All of this information is coming in from your Shopify store in real time, including inventory. And with just one click, we can add any products to our cart. That goes into my cart at the bottom. We can continue browsing. We can add a few more things to our cart, just like this. The app has full support for all the core features of Shopify, including products, variants, discounts, collections, as well as the ability to create orders once a payment is successfully processed on a pin pad. So we can click continue. You can see there's a complete checkout step where we can have the customer fill out information like first name, last name, and email. These fields are as customizable as well. Making changes to the Evelyn self-checkout for your Shopify store is very simple. All applications and changes for applications are managed under the apps section. To make it easier to navigate, you can simply pin this application to the left sidebar by clicking the pin button. And now you can see it appears here. So it's very easy for me to now toggle between the application settings as well as the simulator for the kiosk so I can go back and forth and just make sure that things are showing up how I would expect them to. You can naturally make changes such as the collections available on the kiosk, 
Uh, you can reorder these collections. You can add new collections as well. All of these collections are coming in from your Shopify store. Um, we can sort them out. We can save changes. You can always flip back to the simulator and check that those changes showed up. The other thing you can change, of course, is the banner and screensaver. So as I mentioned, by default, the app attempts to use any images that are available on your Shopify store to represent a nice screensaver and banner. Uh, but we can actually customize these fully. On the left sidebar, you can see we have a banners and screensaver section. If I click plus next to banners, it gives me the ability to create a new banner using our slideshow editor. This slideshow editor functions very similarly to Google Slides or PowerPoint if you've used those in the past and drag and drop uh, an image as our new banner. Um, so we've just created this image for our kiosk mart. We're just going to save this slideshow. Um, and you can also actually add multiple slides. So we can add another slide here and upload another image and set that up. And so now we have two slides that are going to rotate between each other uh, in the banner space at the top of the store. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and save that. Now the last step is to select that we want to use a banner instead of it using the default banner automatically. Flip back to our kiosk simulator and you can see when I click into the store we have our banner running at the top. And it actually does cycle between the two slides that we set up which is pretty great. So that was very easy to set up. Um, let's go back and actually set up a screensaver as well. So same idea, we click plus next to the screensaver button. We could fill out a name screensaver and then I'll just drag and drop in another image. There we go. So this is a nice full screen uh, screensaver slide. Um, and of course we can add another one as well. I'll insert another image. You can see that any images that you've uploaded into the system are available in the media library. So you could always reuse them or drag and drop in new images. This is very useful if you use logos and other assets very often. Um, we don't just support images, we also support videos, we support widgets, we support um, all sorts of different types of content and we'd love to train you on uh, how you can configure these screensavers and make them more dynamic and interactive, uh, but they also work incredibly well just as static images and videos as well. So now we have our screensaver set up um, and of course you can also create multiple banners and multiple screensavers and rotate between them from time to time. That's why this setup is, is very dynamic. You can kind of plan ahead and set up multiple banners and screensavers and just rotate them uh, however you want and schedule them as well. So let's go back to our simulator now and you can see that we have our screensaver full slideshow running um, which we can click into and we can see our banner running at the top there as well. Um, and that's pretty much it. So you can see it's very easy to make changes. We've gone over everything you need to set up your own self-checkout kiosks for your Shopify store using the eFlin self-checkout app available in the Shopify app store. Uh, it's a very quick setup to connect your Shopify account and then configure your first kiosk and you can start simulating your self-checkout experience and making changes with just a few clicks. If you have any questions or if you would like to learn more, please visit us at eFlin.com where you can check out all the different features and demos of the Shopify self-checkout application, as well as the different hardware options that we have available for self-checkout kiosks. Thank you very much for your time, and we hope to see you using this app real soon.